Hello and welcome to the first part of my Europa League jersey review. By now I hope you've seen the video how my daughters and I created this set back there from the Champions League set. Um, it was a little bit easier this time around because I don't have that many teams that are in the Europa League. At least jersey wise I have the three here hanging and it's very Milan heavy. I actually pulled out two more scarves. Ren, Ren and Lazio. So there you go. Um, I'm also wearing, we're starting of course with group A and I just gave up on making it random. We just run by the group one by one. So today we have group A and since there's a Bulgarian team in there, the only one, I decided I have a Bulgarian national team jersey. Let's wear that one. And let's get straight to it. We're not starting uh, in Bulgaria. We're actually starting in Germany with Bayer Leverkusen. Um, I'm not quite sure if the order is now along uh, according to seeding. I just uh, chose Bayer because I think they're the bigger team of the two. Uh, but it might be that Ludo Goretz actually has a higher rating. We already saw this Leverkusen jersey in my Bundesliga review and I said back then that I like my Leverkusen home jerseys in red rather than black. But they're switching every year. One year there's a red, one year there's a black one. If you want to do a black one, I actually think this is a very fine jersey. In that regard, Jakob did a good job here. It actually is a Paris Saint-Germain version. Imagine this jersey and instead of black have a navy or a blue and you would have a perfect Paris Saint-Germain uh, jersey. One that I would love to see for them. Uh, especially, maybe even the center stripe could be wider, but I think it looks over quite nice. Uh, even the sponsor, yes, it breaks up um, the band. I think they try to get a little fade in there to not make it that uh, weird looking. I also don't quite understand there's only one part of the sleeve uh, curves that is different color. I think it's just a little bit red and a little bit white and some black in there. But overall I think it's a decent jersey. Again, I like my Leverkusen home jerseys in red, therefore I only give these 7 stars. The away jersey however is an absolute beauty. I love the slightly slanted striping, pinstriping with the black and the red. Um, couldn't be much better. Yes, the crest you always can uh, <laughs> discuss whether this is a good crest or not with the Bayer pill, as aspirin pill in the center. But overall, I gotta give it to them. This is a really great looking jersey. I gave this nine stars. I'm not gonna wave around that thing. That means we're already going now to the first team where we don't have anything and all the other teams I have not covered because they're not from the big leagues and we're going to Ludo Goretz, Rasgrad. Uh, I'm wearing a Bulgaria jersey but I personally have no connection to Rasgrad. I wear it just because they're Bulgarian and um, their jerseys actually have nice Bulgarian touches meaning on the sleeve cuffs on the bottom you cannot really see there but on the top on the sleeve cuffs on the top of the sleeve there is a little Bulgarian flag. Other than that, this Ludo Goretz jersey is actually pretty nice, an Ampro creation in green. I like the crew neck, maybe we can discuss the, you know, the opening here in white. Um, that's maybe the one thing that I think looks a little bit crazy. The sponsor is a one-line sponsor, so I think that's fine as well. I think it's a overall a good creation out of the house of Ambro and therefore better than most of the others I've seen. For that I want to give this also 9 stars. The away jersey is of course white, which has a really weird color. Again, it has the Bulgarian flag details here on the sides. Um, the crest actually suggests, if I look closer, it suggests a little bit Adidas with the three white stripes of the green. I don't like the color on this, so it absolutely looks weird. I also don't get quite uh, the pattern on there. I guess this is the Rasgrad logo, which is a nice touch. But again, I like what they're doing. If the color was normal, this would go higher. But I think this way, I think I gotta give this uh, six or seven. I think six is appropriate. And then the third jersey does the same as the home jersey, just in black with yellow. And that I don't get. And for that reason, yeah, that's a four. I don't like it. Horrible color. The pattern, yeah, there is the crest on there, but I don't like the colors. Now, from Eastern Europe, we go back to Central Europe. We have two Eastern European, two Central European teams. We go to Switzerland, FC Zurich. Uh, 
And while I would always assume that Zurich has a Zurich if the Turi has a white jersey, I don't like the black accents on there. This should be blue. This is the big downgrade, a downside of this. Also, it's the simplest of templates. It's a boring jersey as can be. And then it's with black. Uh, I think if you look at the colors of the crest, that's where I would expect something. I'm sorry, I think I have to give this four star just for lack of anything on there. The away jersey is a little bit nicer because there is some color and if they use that blue on the home jersey, maybe even those sleeves, that would be a great idea. This one actually I like a lot. Uh, again, it's the boring template, the monochromatic crest is also something that is not exactly too to my liking, but overall I think this is a pretty decent jersey and I'll give this seven stars. I think this is a looker. And then the last team is from Cyprus and I don't either actually have a really good picture of those except for match pictures. We have Aik Larnaca. The home jersey is a Puma creation with a rugby style collar. I actually like the sleeves with the green and the yellow and the overall base color white. That actually looks pretty nice. The sponsor of course is horrible with all the color on it. Uh, but the creation itself is nice and yeah. I think without a sponsor, I even would consider giving this a 9 to 10. Therefore, uh, yeah, but here I cannot go higher than 8. I'm sorry. I really like the idea behind it. However, the away jersey is really, really, really boring. It's again gray with black. Do at least a green with yellow or something like that. Don't go that boring. I really don't like that one. And therefore, yeah, 4 stars. I'm gonna stick with that. It's not horrible, but it's a little bit boring. Well, that was it. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys, which ones you like, which ones you dislike, whether you agree or not. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, and I will talk to you soon. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. Bye!